In this video, I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT in combination with Canva to create short form video content or shorts 10 times faster. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to the channel. Super happy to start a new tutorial with you today. We are going to be one more time talking about how you can leverage these AI platforms to create content faster. I know this is a topic that gathered a lot of traction on the channel with this other video that I created about a similar kind of process. So this time we are doing it again, but with short form video content. So this video will be divided into two parts okay the first part i would call the ideation where i will be using chat gpt to research some topics for my shorts and to start generating ideas start generating scripts and also kind of like illustrative material like b-roll titles slides or maybe animated graphics that will come and complement my script for these videos so that's the first part so mostly using chat gpt the second part I will be using Canva to produce my shorts. I will be using Canva to record my talking heads and also edit my shorts. All right, if you guys are up for this, if you want to learn how to create shorts much faster, well, I suggest you follow every single step. And we are starting right now with step number one, which is to select a topic for your short. Right, so how do you start? How do you choose an interesting topic for your short? Well, I would recommend that you stick within what you know, what you are already talking about on your different social media channels. If you are creating a short, for example, for YouTube, well, maybe consider talking about something you often talk in your YouTube videos. The way I did this, I kind of like, I wanted to step away from the usual Canva content, AI content, or even content creation topic. So I started to think, okay, what could also be relevant to my audience? And it just so happens that I'm going to an event tomorrow. We're going to be flying out to London to attend a Canva event. So I thought it would be a cool idea to talk about networking, like professional networking. When you go to an event, how do you leverage these opportunities to meet with industry experts, to make yourself known, to create some new connections? So so that is the idea I had in my mind. And so I went ahead and searched for what are some top rated books about professional networking. So this will give me a starting point. So here I can see different books, how to talk to anyone, 92 little tricks for big success in relationships. I have here a list of books as well, Never Eat Alone. So that is a book I actually own. I have read a good part of it, maybe not all of it, but Never Eat Alone was a pretty good book. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just simply click on that book title Never Eat Alone, updated and extended edition Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. Okay, so I'm going to copy that control C. Alternatively, I could have started my search on YouTube and search for some of the best videos about professional networking right there on YouTube. I could have gone the blog way path and asked Google instead of books to give me some top rated blog articles about professional networking. Could have searched on LinkedIn for popular posts about professional networking. So many different ways you can start this search. I think I'm good with this. Now I'm ready to go prime ChatGPT. All right, I am here in ChatGPT and it doesn't really matter if you're using the free or the paid version of ChatGPT. I do use ChatGPT Plus, which gives me access to GPT-4, but GPT-3.5 will be just fine for this type of prompt. The first prompt is this one. Do you know the book Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi? So I'm just going to launch this prompt. Yes, I am familiar with the book. It's a popular self-help book that provides insight and strategies on building and leveraging relationship for professional and personal success. Okay, so Keith Ferrazzi, a renowned expert, da, 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 da. he offers some practical advice on networking. So it's kind of like advice on networking, building connection and fostering meaningful relationship to achieve career goals. The book emphasizes on the importance of authentic and genuine relationships, provide tips on networking etiquette. That's interesting keywords, tips on networking etiquette effective communication and maintaining relationship 
over time okay so here what i'm doing i'm kind of like trying to spot important keywords in chat gpt's kind of high level summary of the book to see what my next question might look like so i understand this is a book where keith ferrazzi gives a bunch of different tips on how to properly network how to like tips on how to build these relationships so this is going to influence my second prompt right here which i want to use to get a break down of the most important concepts that are in the book okay i'm trying to surface the essence of this book in the least amount of time possible so here is the prompt i would use to get there let me paste it for you can you break down the most important strategies and tips for networking from the book use formatting and markups to create an easy to read summary of these tips two things here in the prompt i ask basically ChatGPT to break it down for me what are these strategies what are these tips that you mentioned in your overall high level summary so that's one like the content and second is the formatting i want you to use formatting and markups Markups to create an easy to read summary. I, I need this to be easy, pleasant to read. All right, let's run this prompt and see. Certainly, here's a breakdown of some important strategies and tips for networking from the book. Okay, be authentic, build your network before you need it, give generously, follow up and follow through, attend events and conferences, become a connector, practice relationship currency. Don't know what that means, but there's a little bit of a definition here. Build a personal brand, diversify your network, invest in your relationships, master the art of small talk, okay? Join professional associations and groups, embrace online networking, and then be grateful and express appreciation. Okay, so for each of these 14 tips, I receive a little bit of an explanation of what it means. So that is great. I could pretty much save me a week or two of reading the book by just really digging and drilling down on these 14 points right here, because this is the essence of the book. And for having read part of it, I do remember some of these points, like, for example, becoming a connector, building your network before you need it. He spends, Keith Ferrazzi spends a good amount of time talking about this in the book. So, yeah, I think this is a great starting point for me and my content. Remember, the goal here is to come up with ready-made scripts that I can use to create shorts. All right. So we are slowly getting there. Now, we kind of need to identify content or opportunities in these 14 points. What are some of the points right here that maybe could be broken down deeper into actual content pieces? So let's see, be authentic, build a network, give generously, attend event, be a connector, practice relationship currency, build a personal brand, invest in relation. Okay, master the art of small talk. I like that. So maybe we could do something about this. I'm going to dive a bit deeper on this point, mastering the art of small talk. So this is the prompt I'm going to be using focusing on point number 11 small talk can you give me seven ways we can effectively engage in small talks with the aim of networking give me real life examples real situations and real conversation topics so this is my prompt i'm trying to make this as practical as connected to real life example as possible because this will help me get closer and closer to what my target audience really wants to consume in terms of content and something that would relate to them. So let's see what ChatGPT brings back here. Certainly, here are seven ways to effectively engage in small talk for networking purposes, allowing, along with real life examples, situation and conversation topics. Number one, ask about their professional background and interest. And then uh, ChatGPT gives me a situation. You are attending a networking event and strike up a conversation with someone you haven't met before. Conversation topic. So what brought you to this event? Tell me about, about your professional background and what interests you in your field. That's a pretty interesting conversation starter. So that's asking about their professional background and interest. Number two, discuss industry trends or recent news. That's pretty cool too. Ask for their opinion or advice. Find common ground or shared experiences. Inquire about their current projects or initiatives. Discuss relevant books, articles or industry events. 
ask open-ended questions about their hobbies or interests outside of work. All right, so that was pretty good. I have seven different questions here, seven different ways of engaging in small talks at an event. And I think I have enough material here to create my first script. So how do we go from this kind of like data to an actual piece of content, which sounds like an actual piece of content, not like a book resume? Well, obviously I have another prompt for that. So here is the entire prompt. I'm going to paste it here and read it to you. There you go. Based on these seven tips to engage in small talks for networking purposes. See what I do here? I take some of the exact same phrasing that ChatGPT already gave me so that it knows that I'm referring to this exact answer right here because the conversation is already a little bit long. So I want chat to understand what I'm referring to. So I use the exact same wording. Okay, so based on these seven tips to engage in small talks for networking purposes, create a 59 second short form video script. Okay, so I'm being very precise here. Why 59 seconds? Because if you want your short to be considered a short on YouTube, it needs to be less than a minute. So by asking for a 59 second script, then I am making sure that this will be shot when it's in its final version and it will last less than a minute. So I can post that as a short for YouTube. The short should give away five out of the seven tips from your previous previous answer because I thought seven might be a little bit too long, too much content for a 59 second video. So I didn't want to have to speak so fast that it would be very difficult for viewers to kind of follow me. So I thought maybe let's do five and see how we go from there. Maybe next time it could be even less. So respect this structure for the short. So now I give uh, ChatGPT kind of like a framework of how I want the script to be actually structured. Okay, so start Start with a catchy affirmation related to engaging in small talks at a networking event. Then transition to the five tips. And then at the end of the short, the call to action is subscribe for more tips. Use attention grabbing copy, simple words, and break down the script with timestamps. Okay, let's run this prompt and see what ChatGPT comes up with. All right, so I do have a detailed video script right here with timestamps indeed, and also a little bit of some visual. So opening shot, energetic music playing, text overlay with bold letters saying master small talk for networking success. So it starts like this, narrator. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Engage in captivating conversation and unlock new opportunities. Scene eight, a networking event event with professionals mingling and talking. Okay, narrator. Here are five tips to make small talk work for you. Okay, text overlay. Tip number one, ask about their professional background and interest. The scene, two professionals exchanging business cards and discussing their career path. Text overlay. Tip number two, discuss industry trends or recent news. Scene, two professionals engrossed in a conversation, gesturing and talking animatedly. All right, so text overlay. Tip number three. So I like that chat gives me the text overlays or kind of the titles that need to be created for my video. So tip number three, ask for their opinion or advice. Scene, two professionals seated at a cafe engage in a thoughtful discussion. Text overlay tip number four, find common ground or shared experiences. Scene, two professionals laughing and bonding over shared interest at an event. And then text overlay tip number five, inquire about their current projects or initiatives. And then the shorts finishes this way narrator comes back full screen. Want more networking tips? Subscribe for more. Closing shot, logo, CTA displayed, music fades out. Narrator, master the art of small talks, subscribe for more tips. End of short form video. All right, so I think this was already pretty good. Okay, I have my five tips. They don't go into details, but I think they give the gist of the five tips. Okay, so and I think this is a decent amount of content for less than a minute short. So so from here, I could just take that and start working in Canva because I do have most of the information I need. But there is one more formatting prompt I want to show you to make your life even easier. 
So what I'm going to do now is to ask ChatGPT to actually rewrite that same script, but with a twist. I want it to be formatted in a table. So here's my script. I'm going to read it out loud to you. Rewrite the script using a table format. In the first column, I'm going to be uh, kind of like explaining column by column what I want in this table to make it super clear for GPT here to understand my prompt. So in the first column, add the timestamps. In the second, the text. And in the third column, your suggested B-rolls, text overlays, and on-screen graphics. Okay, so I'm going to run this. And normally, ChatGPT should start rewriting its previous answer in that table format. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different scenes right here in my shorts. So now I'm going to grab this nice table and bring it over to Canva, where we are going to start using the different features that Canva has in store for us to start producing our shorts. What do you say? And really fast, before we do so, guys, I would really appreciate if you took one second to smash the like button so that this video could be pushed further on YouTube and be shown to more people. And now let's go to Canva and start producing this short. All right, we are here on the Canva homepage and we are about to start creating our YouTube short, all right? So the way you do that, you probably want to start working with a video document, all right? So head over the little videos icon right here, the purple one. I'm going to click here and here on top, you should see all the different document types related to video. So we are going to go for a TikTok video. Even though we want to create a YouTube short, it's the same format as TikTok video. So you can either start from a template or start from scratch. If you click on the tile, you will start a brand new TikTok video project, like a blank project in Canva. Now, if you want to see templates and start start from a template, you can click on the little magnifier glass right here to start browsing for some templates. I'm going to start with a blank document. Okay, so I'm going to go with create a blank TikTok right here. It's going to create that vertical format that is typical for TikTok videos. And it's going to give me only one page, which has a five second duration right here. All right, so what we are going to be doing now is to prepare the different scenes of our short. How are we going to determine these scenes? Well, ChatGPT kind of like gave us a hint of how many different scenes there would be in our final video. So in order to do that, I'm going to head over my uploads tab right here, use the upload file button, upload my screenshot. It's going to load right here. And I can simply bring it over like so and make it as big as possible. So remember, we had everything broken down into these three columns, but also separated by timestamps. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So this project probably has 10 scenes in it. So we are going to be editing these 10 scenes. But if you want to kind of like prep your document, you can start like creating 10 pages. Okay, so I can head over the little grid view right here and duplicate this page by simply command C or control C to copy it and then command V pretty much nine times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I have 11 pages but page one is being used by my screenshot right here. So what I'm going to do is to simply come back to the script and use the timestamps. Okay, networking events don't have to be daunting. So that is text. So I could probably start creating my text box already. Okay, so for this, I can either head over the text box. And if I have preset text formatting, like I do have here in my brand kit, in the team run the brand kit, I could use this text. So for example, here, the text would be network Working events don't have to be daunting. Okay, so I can copy this text right here, or I could also go fetch it in my table right here in ChatGPT. I don't have to recopy everything. Okay, I got it, paste it here. And now it's just a question of formatting this the right way. You could break it down into three different lines. So that would be creating three different pages. It's really up to you. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you some simple ways. Then you can go more elaborated, less elaborated. You could watch some other resources on this channel, like Diana, for example, has some great videos about creating subtitles for your short form content, about creating transitions, etc., etc. There's a ton 
ton of resource on the channel for you to edit your videos like a pro using Canva. Me here, I'm going to show you a basic way because it's more about creating faster and kind of like a workflow that you will be reproducing at scale to create a bunch of shorts for your content strategy. So here, I'm just going to lay out the text and then if you want to make it fancier, that's really up to you. So networking events don't have to be daunting. Okay, so that would be the text could give it a color, could be yellow like so. You could add an effect with, for example, an outline, or you can make the outline a little bit thicker like so, and you can choose more solid color, like this kind of typical, I would say, TikTok overlays. So there you go. We have something similar. Networking event don't have to be daunting. Okay, so that's my first page right here. Let's see if we have more titles. Yes, we do have more titles. We have tip number one to five. So I could probably copy this and start adding to my pages. So that's one, two, three, four, can add more pages, five. Okay, so let's go here and let's duplicate this text box only one time. And now I'm gonna write tip number one. Okay, and I'm gonna change the color of this one to something else. So I could go this color and I could change the effect as well. And instead like give something like this. And then I can add my tip number one. For that, I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT. Okay, so tip number one, ask about the professional background and interest. There you go. Now I can move on to tip number two. And what I'm going to do is to select these two text boxes right here, come back here, I can actually delete this one and I'm gonna paste the other one. The way I did that is because I already had the tip box right here. So I can just simply change the number right here for number two I Can come back to chat GPT, copy that and then paste it here. Discuss industry trends or recent news. Okay, then it's really your choice to break the sentences a little bit better, to add maybe some graphic elements to these pages. It's really up to you. So I'm gonna speed up the workflow, create all of the different text or tip slides, I would say for my video. All right, I am ready. I have created my five tip, I would say text overlays. So I'm ready to move on to the other type of pages I will need to use for my shorts, okay? The other scenes of my shorts. Come back to the normal view, so closing the grid view here. And again, like referring, I will keep referring to this script right here that ChatGPT wrote for me. So the first one, networking event don't have to be daunting. Okay, so that's the first page right here. So don't have to be daunting. Maybe I could use an emoji of, you know, the guy doing like this, so crossing his arm. So I'm gonna search for this emoji. You can search for emojis by going to the apps right here, find the emoji. Okay, maybe Maybe try no and see. Okay, no, yeah, I have this emoji right here. Make that smaller. So networking event don't have to be daunting. If I add some stuff, I can recenter this text in the middle of my page. Okay, that's good for slide number one. So this second scene right here, so professionals mingling and talking at a networking event. So there will be the narrator saying this sentence, engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. All right, next one is going to be, here are five tips to make small talk work for you. So. I suggest, so let's create these two pages. So one, control C, control V. I have now two different pages here that are ready to welcome scene number two and scene number three. And at this stage, I realize I should probably have added an extra column in this table for my scene number, okay? So if you prompt chat GPT for your table, just remember to add an extra column, column number one with the scene number. That would be much easier. So coming back to my table here, I have my two different scenes. Okay? Okay, these two blank pages. This one right here is gonna be me, my talking head in full screen. So in order to prep for this page and for this full page talking head, I could probably add 
under my elements a grid okay so the grid is just this full page frame where i'm going to be dropping my talking head video i still need to record these talking heads but and my scene is ready for that then this scene scene number two is going to be professional mingling and talking at a networking event okay so this one is going to be similar to this one so i can copy my grid right here but this time this is not going to be my talking head but rather a b-roll of like these professional mingling so professional mingling and talking at a networking event i'm going to copy this from chat gpt Control c come back here go to my apps and i'm going to search for the video tab okay so search for the video tab in canva now you should be in the videos panel you see videos i'm going to paste talking so this professional talking at a networking event all right so i'm going to start searching for this see if something can make sense here so i have this it would be nice because this woman is like talking at a professional event. So different things here that could work. This could also work. I'm creating a vertical video. So maybe I need to take that into consideration. I'm going to go for the one that I saw earlier. This one right here. Let's see this one. Okay, let's see how that works. So I don't really see the other person. Okay, so that is too close of a shot. So I'm not going to be using this one. So I'm going to detach the video. Okay, in order to do this, I just right click on my video footage, detach from my grid. And I'm going to delete it. Okay, I need something else. I need a wider shot of people networking. So maybe I can just change the prompt right here. So people networking. Okay, let's see if I have something here. That's also quite close. I think this one will be good. Okay, done. And by all means, like the way I reframe these videos, I double click on them once they are in my grid. And I can move like left or right. I'm just trying to frame something that looks interesting. Okay, this is not too bad. I just need a couple of seconds of this. All right, so networking event don't have to be daunting. Okay, so here what I'll have is me talking. Okay, so I can add my talking head as well in this one. So similarly, going to my elements, adding a grid, which is going to by default be positioned in the back. Then second scene, engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. So what I can do is actually Copy the text for each of my scenes, come back here and use the notes, the presenter notes to paste the text here in the notes. Engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. Okay, so here the first one is simply the same text right here. I'm gonna paste that in the notes as well. The third one right here, come back to ChatGPT. Here are five tips to make small talk work for you. Okay, I'm going to control C this, come back here, paste that in my notes. All right, so tip number one is to ask people about their professional backgrounds. I'm going to add it here. All right, so here what I could have is some sort of like cool transition or abstract background going on where it's kind of like a title scene where I have the name of the tip. Okay, or I could use some more B-rolls actually, but it's uh, really up to you. So it depends on your branding as well. So for me, I would like to have something kind of like that reinforces my brand identity. So I could probably use a color or a gradient. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click on the background right here and on the color button. I'm gonna create a new color. So add a new color with the plus button right here with all of the different colors i'm going to make a gradient okay so i could go with some of my brand colors here so what would go well with the yellow maybe some blue bluish okay let's go with this blue and the other color right here could be another color from my pack right here so could be this yellow this actually not that great let's see maybe a lighter blue yeah, this is better. Okay, so still on my gradient, maybe I find something else that looks nice. You see you have different styles of gradients. So I think 
I'm gonna go with this one right here. So basically all of your title screen would have the same color. So you could have something like this. I could also have like a an image playing in the background. So I could overlay another frame on top of this or another grid on top of this and give it some transparency. So that is really up to you. I'm gonna keep it simple for the sake of this tutorial because I want to move fast and show you that you can actually create these shorts very fast. All right, so this is where we are. We have our first, second, third. So here are five tips. Maybe I can write here that this is a talking head. Okay, so Ronnie's talking head. I could add that here. So I know exactly when it comes to filming these talking heads, I know exactly what I would need. And I have the first tip. This one is going to appear very quickly. So I can maybe already reduce the timing to two seconds, 2.5, let's say. So if I come back to my script right here, I see that next is simply a succession of the five tips. Okay, tip number one, two, three, four, five. So in order for this not to be boring, I probably need to be a little bit more concrete, okay? And I remember that in my chat GPT conversation, the data that we used to actually create this script had a little bit more detail. Remember, it went like this. So ask about their professional background and interest. So you have the situation and then you have the actual conversation, the actual question. So the question would be, so what brought you to this event? Tell me about your professional background and what interests you in your field. So I'm going to copy this, come back to Canva and paste that here. Okay, so this is going to be Ronnie's talking head. So what brought you to this event? Tell me about your professional background and what interests you in your field. That could be Ronnie in full talking head mode, or it could be me in a bubble with some b-rolls in the background. So it's really up to you. And I'm going to see if adding more sentences to my script make it too long so that I have to cut from five tips to maybe three tips. And then we'll have a part two. This is also something that you need to be kind of flexible with when you create your content. And we will only know that when we will have our talking head recordings. But for the moment, let's just continue building the structure of our short, all the different scenes in a similar way. Then we will move on to tip number two right here and we can paste the same background. So for this, very easy, we can copy style of this text, come here and paste the style on the background. And we can do this on all the other title pages like so. So simply using the copy style button and applying the style on the background to copy the same color of background. So there we go. Now we have all the right background colors. I can come back to my grid page right here. And I'm gonna simply paste on all the other pages like so. All right, so I'm gonna speed up the video and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT, grab the conversation topic, paste it in my notes. All right, guys, I think I'm done prepping my different pages right here. So I'm gonna quickly go over all of them. So I have the first page right here, which is networking events don't have to be daunting. So here in this first grid, I will probably have some B-rolls of a networking event. So let's go ahead and find that under video. I'm going to go with large group of people networking. Okay, I want to have a lot of people like in the frame. Not that because it's obvious that they're not networking. All right, I don't see anything too good here. So maybe I change my strategy and go for trade fair. Okay, trade fair, not camera trade. I'm going to change idea again. Networking events don't have to be daunting. So let's find something daunting. So let's find a man in despair man in despair. Okay, so it's hard. So this is pretty hard. Okay, it's hard on him. Just spend his entire day at the networking event and it's so hard. All right, so networking events don't have to be daunting. Okay, again. Okay, I think this is good enough. So that's the first scene. Second scene, I need my notes. Engage in captivating conversations and unlock opportunities. So here we see people laughing. So that's 
good. That's actually very good because it's a big contrast with the first shot. Then scene number three, Ronnie's talking head here of five tips to make small talks work for you. That's good. Then tip number one, Ronnie's talking head here of five. Okay, so what is page six right here? Need to come back to chat GPT my script. Here are five tips. Okay, so, so tip number one, ask about their professional background and interest. You could ask a question like, so tell me what brought you to this event? Or a question like, what are you most passionate about in this field? So to go along with these concrete questions, I probably need some more B-roll. So something related to people talking at an event. So again, I'm going to go and do the same thing, come back to my videos and just like find two people chatting at an event. Okay, let's see two people chatting at an event. Okay, I'm going to go with this one right here, clicking on it. And so this is going to work just fine because this guy, he clearly is at a conference. And so this is going to work. All right, so that's fine. Moving on to my next scene right here, discuss industry trends or news. Okay, you could ask something like, ask something about the industry. I recently read an article about ChatGPT plugins. What are your thoughts on them? So to illustrate this, we could have something related to artificial intelligence. Okay, so we could use that together with the ChatGPT logo. Okay, so I'm going to go this time to my elements, search for ChatGPT logo. All right, and see all of them. Could use that, make this pop at some point in the video. Okay, this is good. All right, so I could continue, move on to tip number three, ask for their opinion or advice. Okay, so that's the name of the tip. Then we'll have the concrete question. What advice would you give someone starting a YouTube channel? Okay, so for this one, I could go find YouTube channel. Okay, this is pretty good. So I'm placing this in right here. Let's see what it plays. Okay, so this maybe not the right one. So let's find this one right here. Okay, this is much better because she seems pretty young and she seems to be a starting YouTuber. Then we have the next tip, find common ground or shared experiences. For this one, I had something like, for example, you could say something like, I couldn't help but not notice your shoes. I'm also a big fan of sneakers. Are you a collector? All right, so video, I'm gonna go with sneakers. Okay, I could use that or I could use that. Let's use this one. It's more like the type of shoes I would wear. Okay, so this is great. Could it help but notice your shoes? Are you a collector? Tip number five, inquire about their current work uh, project initiative. And this is about blogging, writing. So I could probably use some B-rolls of writing a blog. Okay, so computer typing, perfect. Okay, so journaling, that's good. Okay, let's go for this one right here. The lady opening up the laptop and start typing. It's a bit slow, so maybe I could start the video when she actually opens it up, like here, like so. You can always come back to your timeline and adjust, okay? But now I think we have the entire pages of the video ready. Took a little bit of time. This is probably the most time consuming part of the process, but I think it's worth it. So let's come back to ChatGPT. One more networking tips, subscribe for more. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Want more networking tips, subscribe for more. So this is obviously full screen. Okay, so I'm gonna create that new page, add that here, subscribe for more. So I could have a subscribe logo. Okay, so this one right here, make it smaller and make it about here. All right. And for the rest, I'm going to be using one last grid from my elements, the grid. This is going to be Ronnie talking head. Yep. Talking head. All right, let's see the entire projects now. So we have this one that we can get rid of. 
now we have 14 pages everything is right here ready and looking at my entire project from this bird's eye view i see that i'm not so happy about these backgrounds that i have for each of my five tips so i'm going to quickly swap these for some custom background that we use in our team at team rondi but for you you can really decide on whatever brand identity visual identity you want i would suggest that you have that in mind before you start your project otherwise it will delay you a little bit just like i did with my change of mind so i'm going to fast forward the video change these ugly gradients for something much nicer all right guys so this is where i am i added this custom background on each of the tips and i also changed the color of the effect around the number of the tip now this looks much more like team rondi i'm much happier about this i think i'm ready to move on to the next step which is to record my talking heads in canva one thing i love about canva is that you can record your talking head directly from the canva editor so let me show you where that magic can happen and also i want to give you guys a heads up because i'm not sure this feature will work with every single web browser okay i've seen a lot of questions on the youtube channel about oh i cannot find record yourself as the feature or i cannot record my screen in canva well in order to put all of the channels is on your side you would better use google chrome as your web browser so this is just a little heads up before we start and start actually using this feature but if you are using google chrome you should be good to go okay so where do you go so first i'm going to get out of this grid view this is my projects panel i want to go back to the uploads panel right here the upload button so i'm going to click here and under the upload files you should see record yourself this button right here so i'm going to click here and i'm going to use my camera you see i'm here in the bubble so you can choose which camera is going to actually film i'm going to be using my studio display camera because the other one right here is busy filming this tutorial so i could probably center my screen a little bit better so i can talk directly to the camera all right so that's the camera you can also set up your microphone external microphone perfect that is good and i think i am good to go so once you are good to go you can click on record right here there's going to be a countdown and now you can start basically delivering your script okay so you should from here be able to access your notes you see notes so if you go back to page one then you have your notes right there you can start delivering this text all right so let's go let's give this a shot networking events don't have to be daunting okay so that's the first part second engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities here are my five tips to make small talk work for you okay that's good Tip number one, ask people about their professional background and interest. Very concretely, this could be a question like, so what brought you to this event? Or something like, what are you most passionate about these days? Okay. Tip number two, discuss industry trends and recent news. You could say something like, I recently read an article about ChatGPT plugins. What do you think about them? Okay. Tip number three, ask for their professional advice or opinion. For example, my daughter is just getting started on YouTube. What would be your best advice? Okay. Tip number four, find some common grounds or shared experiences. Say things like, I couldn't help but notice your shoes. I'm also a big fan of sneakers. Are you a collector? And finally, tip number five, inquire about their current projects or initiatives. You could say something like, I've read a lot of positive comments on your blog. What's your next blog gonna be about? So there you go, guys, my five tips for small talks at networking events. Subscribe for more tips. So once you're done with your recordings, you can hit that button that says save and exit. And then what's going to happen is that Canva is going to upload every single talking head per individual pages. So that is why we started the project by creating all of the different scenes of our short, because at the time of recording our talking head using Canva, these talking heads will be divided by scene, which is going to be much easier for us to start 
start editing because each scene will have their corresponding talking head. So I would obviously be able to work on that image. I would be able to hide it, only keep the sound or maybe hide it behind another image or maybe have it full screen. I will have a lot of flexibility working with these video files once they are all uploaded. Okay, so they're still uploading. I see I have one and then yeah, 10, 11 different files here. So I hope they are well recorded. I haven't yet listened to them. Could probably try to listen to the first one right here. If you go back to page one, then you have your notes right there. You can start delivering this text. Maybe you can also... Network, networking events don't have to be daunting. Okay, so by default, you will have your video in that rounded frame. But if you right click on that round frame right here, you can detach the video. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and be careful here because if you move it without holding your command or your control key on your keyboard, it's gonna snap into your other grid right here. You see there is the other grid that we have used for the B-roll. So make sure you hold your command or your control key pressed down when you're manipulating this other video right here. I'm going to position it right here for now because I want to edit this. So with this video selected, click on the little scissors right here. If you go back to page one, and then you see your entire video clip right here. So what you are going to do is to find the right passage. So not all of it is going to be good, actually. You just need to find the right passage. Okay, so it needs to be around here maybe. Give this a shot. Net. Okay, so it starts around here. Network. Okay, yeah. So about here. There. 13.05. So I'm going to trim that to 13.03. Let's play that. Network. Networking events. Okay. So I make a mistake. Network. Net. Okay, it starts here. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Okay, all the way to here. Okay, let's play that again. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Networking events don't... Okay, I'm good with this. So when you're good with your footage, your passage selection, when you have your correct text, click on done. And then this video is going to be shortened to 2.5 seconds. So that's the exact same duration that you need for this B-roll right here, 2.5 seconds. So now that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do the same thing. Click on the little scissors right here. And I'm going to select only 2.5 seconds. So by trimming this down to 2.5, like so. And now I have corresponding clips between my talking head right here and my B-roll. So I'm going to click on done. There you go. And now I could grab this and put it back in the little bubble. And the bubble could go anywhere. It's really up to me. Could make it bigger. Let's actually keep it like so. I'm going to Position the bubble right here at the bottom. And this is going to be my first scene edited. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Okay, so now the second scene right here should have the text of my second scene. Okay, so let's play it and figure it out. Second, engage in captivating conversation. Yep. Engage in, engage in captivating conversation and unlock. Engage in, ca engage in captivating engaging captive engaging captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities okay so i'm going to pause it here you see right here i'm going to bring it back like so and it's about here so engaging captive engaging captivating conversation okay so it starts about here so engage Again, a bit more. In captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. Okay, so I could probably trim a little bit more here. Again. Engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. Engage. Okay, so it's good. I'm going to click on done. This is 4.5 seconds. So similarly, click on your B-roll, click on the little scissors, and you could even just enter manually 4.5 five seconds and so you can use the beginning of the clip or you can move this section now you have a 4.5 second section that you can move anywhere but i think 
the beginning with the lady actually turning her head. So let's start here. Okay, 4.5, not 4.4, 4.5 seconds, and then click on done. Now we are moving in the video. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Engage in captivating conversation. So here you see my little bubble could be at the same place. So as the first one. Oh yeah, I made it bigger. So you can actually make it bigger as well. But you should probably keep the same proportions. If you don't remember which size is this bubble, you can always click on your position and you could copy this. So 412.5. Click on the second bubble and I'm going to go 412.5. Yeah, there you go. And now make sure it is right there centered. Again, for the positioning, if you're not sure, 333.8. Page one, position 333.7. Yeah, the, the difference is not going to be noticeable. Let's play this. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. Okay, so basically that's how you edit your shorts. Like scene by scene, you will have your talking head. I love that when you record yourself in Canva, it breaks down these talking heads per pages. That is super convenient. All right, I'm gonna speed up the workflow because I think you get the idea. I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing until I have all of my scenes ready and matching talking head versus B-rolls. All right, I'm done editing every single scene and this is what the final timeline looks like. If I look Look at the play button right here at the top of my screen, I will have the entire duration of my project. And I can see it's slightly over a minute. It's actually a minute and nine seconds, which means I will have to delete something if I want this to be considered a short on YouTube. So I could shorten the outro right here, which is uh, like so. Let's listen to the outro. And that's it guys. These were my five tips for small talks at networking events. Okay, I could cut here and just keep subscribe for more tips. Okay, so I'm gonna right click right here on this time indicator to create a cut. Okay, so right click and I'm gonna split my page. I could have used the S key on my keyboard for split. I'm gonna cut that, delete this. And now I'm at 105. I need to cut some more. Okay, so let's listen to the entire project. Networking events don't have to be daunting. Engage in captivating conversations and unlock new opportunities. Small talk work for you. Here are my five tips to make small talk work for you. Tip number one, ask people about their professional background and interests. Okay, so what I could do is to get rid of this clip number two right here. Engage in captivating. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this entire thing. And now I'm at one minute exactly. So this could work. If not, I could trim some more, but I think I am at the right spot right here. All right, so once you are happy with this, once you are within the right timing, the last step before you export this video would be to add some transitions. So for that, you will want to position your cursor right in between two different pages here. When you do so, you should see this little button right here that says add a transition. So if you click here, you could do like different kinds of transitions. You have your color swipe, you have your dissolve, you have your slide, which is nice circle wipe, color wipe, line wipe, match and move, which I like, flow, which is cool as well, stack. Let's go with stack. Let's go with something fast. So maybe 0.2 seconds and I want this to come from the top. All right, very cool. So I'm gonna use that for this one. Let's continue. Okay, so then right here, I could add a transition here as well. Add a transition. Let's use flow. Let's make this fast as well. Like 0.3. Yep, that sounds good. Okay, this is all good. And then we transition to this. Maybe here we have something interesting as well. A transition. Okay. All right. Let's go dissolve and let's go a bit faster. And that's good. Let's go like this slide actually better. So you get the point, you get the idea. You can add different transitions between all of your pages. And you see how the time indicator starts to reflect the real length of your project. So this is really good. 
So now right here, I can add more transition like so. Continue with the flow like so. Continue with the same point four. And actually do so. Here I have two different talking bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to try something different. I'm going to take this talking bubble and move it up like so. And this ChatGPT logo, maybe I want to make it appear. So I'm going to show timing here. I want to make it appear when I actually mention it. You could say something like, I recently read an article about ChatGPT. Here, ChatGPT starts here. So I'm going to reduce this to match my time indicator right here. GPT plugins, what do you think about them? Tip number two. Okay, so I talk about ChatGPT plugins. I could write the keyword plugins right here. So GPT plugins. Okay, so from here, I'm going to create a text box by hitting my T key and I'm going to write plugins. Okay, ChatGPT plugins. And I'm going to use an effect, same effect. So this effect right here, ChatGPT plugins. I'm going to change this for this color right here and maybe my text to this blue. Yeah, ChatGPT plugins. Okay, so maybe I use the same color for my effect right here as the ChatGPT logo, like so. And I'm going to use white for my text. Okay, this looks great. Let me show the timing of these two. So I have ChatGPT plugins. You could say something like, I recently read an article about ChatGPT plugins. You could say something like, I recently read an article about ChatGPT plugins. What do you think about them? Tip number three. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe my talking head right there. It's not quite where I want it. Maybe let's have it right here. But then what I want to show you is that you can transition between this talking head right there at the bottom to here with a specific transition called match and move. And look what match and move will do here. Recently you say something again. Recently you say something like I recently read an article about ChatGPT plugins. What do you think about them? Tip number Okay, so this looks good. I'm gonna reduce this all the way to here. But tip now. Recently you say something like I recently read an article about ChatGPT plugins. What do you think about them? Tip number three. Okay, so I'm good to go. I am definitely under a minute and I think I showed you everything I wanted to show you. You can obviously add more stuff. For example, you could add some sound effects to your project. For this, simply go back to your apps button right here, go to your audio and then you could search for a pop SFX, so pop sound effects and you could even filter by effects. Okay, so yeah, balloon pop, suction pop, suction pop, a bunch of different like mouth pop, a bunch of different sound effects that you could try in your project. And the way they work, you can position your cursor, your time indicator, and simply when it's in the right place, for example, right here, when I have this chat GPT popping up, I could have like this sound coming right there. A GPT plugin. See, pop, this pop. A GPT. Okay, and then the plugin thing. I'm gonna copy this. And then when the plugin appears, I have the other pop. But chat GPT plugins. There, there you go. You have your two sound effects. So as you can see, you can go deeper or more high level with the production of these. This took me all in all about 40 minutes to generate this short from its conceptualization in chat GPT to its actual editing and exporting in Canva. So there you go. I'm not going to show you the entire project because I think you've seen this again and again, but it's all here. My timeline is ready to be exported. I have 58.3 seconds. So the final step would be to hit the share button, download and download this as an MP4 video. All of your pages, download this. Canva will start downloading your project. And once it's ready, your short is ready to use.
All right, guys, I hope you learned something new with me today, working on these shorts in a more streamlined manner. So once you are there, once you understand how to toggle between ChatGPT for the ideation and Canva for the execution, you can really start batch producing your shorts. I sincerely believe if you dedicate your entire day to this, you could probably come up with anywhere from six to maybe 12, even 15 shorts if you work faster than me. So yeah, I think this is a lot of content created in a short amount of time and still good relevant content that will help your audience. That is really the most important thing. And talking about helping your audience, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you aren't yet subscribed to the channel, now would be an excellent time to do so. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you guys with this other video right here in case you want to learn something else.